30 miles north of New York City, there's a small town haunted by the legacy of the Headless Horseman, 200 years after his first ride. I'm Jessica Hester, staff writer at Atlas Obscura, and this is how a fictional town became reality. When Washington Irving wrote The Legend of Sleepy Hollow in 1820, the village didn't exist, though some of its landmarks did, like the old Dutch church. He placed the story of Ichabod Crane, the school teacher, and the beheaded Hessian soldier in North Tarrytown, where the church had been standing for centuries. Sleepy Hollow was based on real geography, but it wasn't on the map. Readers were spellbound by Irving's tale of the Headless Horseman, and soon fans started showing up in North Tarrytown. But when the town's massive automotive factory closed in 1996 and took thousands of jobs with it, the town put its future on the ballot and voted to give itself a boost by rebranding as Sleepy Hollow. Now, you literally can't turn a corner without running into the horseman. On a single block, we saw him on street signs, on a police officer's badge, on a permit tacked to a tree, on a squad car, and on an ambulance that turned right in front of it. He's even the mascot of the local high school, where the sign says, Home of the Horseman. Fans sometimes get married in the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery, on the bridges crossing the Pocantico River, where the horseman is said to have vanished. This one isn't the original. Experts aren't sure exactly which one Irving was writing about, but it feels old and storied maybe because it's so mossy and damp. Washington Irving is also buried inside the cemetery and is on his third gravestone. For years, fans shipped pieces of it off as souvenirs. Halloween is big business for the horsemen. The gas station across the street from the cemetery is stocked with swag. Horseman t-shirts, travel mugs, and keychains are piled next to lighters and allergy meds. The loudest example of horseman tourism is the great jack-o'-lantern blaze. It's in a nearby town, and it runs all season. Nearly 150,000 people wander around the grounds of an old manor house, weaving around 7,000 carved pumpkins. It's a giant spectacle, complete with choreographed lighting, immersive special effects, even a creepy original score. The whole thing is very theatrical, but it's easy to get swept up in the magic, no matter how cynical you are. The horseman's legacy is there, too. He's in the gift shop and out in the yard, where a soundtrack plays a loop of clomping hooves, a whinny, and a cackle. It's not so unusual for a town to rebrand itself, but few have gone bigger than Sleepy Hollow. Here, fact and fiction swirl together. Centuries after it was written down, the legend still draws people to the place that inspired the story and has now claimed it as its own. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel to see more awesome videos like this one and hop into the comments and tell us about your favorite local lore.